a man is engrossed in a webtoon and believes that bullying in schools no longer occurs. However, he and his group of friends are bullies to a guy named Kim Soo Leon. After tormenting him, they leave him be. As a result, Kim Soo Hyun becomes tired of his miserable existence and desires to become the protagonist of a webtoon. He shouts the words, quest window, repeatedly, and suddenly a quest window materializes in front of his eyes. Kim Soo Hyun, who is sitting in his class, is perplexed by the appearance of the quest window, so he attempts to select the yes button, but a girl interrupts him, and he inadvertently presses her instead. The girl becomes enraged and slaps him, instructing him to bring her a sandwich. Kim requests money, but she refuses and tells him that they are even because he touched her. On his way to buy the sandwich, he is once again bullied by others. He tries to convince them to stop bullying, but one of the bullies is much larger and more intimidating, and he apologizes instead. Back at home, he yells at his mother, begging her to allow him to drop out of school so that he can begin a YouTube channel. His sister teases him, stating that becoming a YouTube star is not that easy. Kim Soo Hyun is in his room and opens the quest window. He clicks on the quest button, and his first mission is to apologize to his mother, with a gold card as his prize. He apologizes to his mother for his behavior, and he completes the task, receiving the gold card. He displays the card, elated to discover that he has grown 3 centimeters in height as his reward. Following that, the trio enjoys dinner together. The subsequent day, upon arriving at school, he garners a shocked reaction from everyone as he has visibly grown taller overnight. Upon opening his quest window, he discovers that his next task is to kiss Beck Chiron, a feat that seems impossible given the circumstances. Despite feeling disheartened, he realizes that forfeiting the quest would lead to the confiscation of his rewards and permanent closure of the quest window. Determined not to return to his former self, he vows to persevere and brainstorm ways to obtain a kiss from Beck Chiron, even though he doubts his ability to do so. Fortunately, his friend offers to financially assist him with the endeavor. Upon seeing his battered face, Kim inquires about the perpetrator to which he responds that a friend named Kusa beat him up, and they are on good terms. Kim then asks for advice on how to obtain a kiss from a girl, to which Kusa suggests paying for the privilege. Although Kim agrees, he finds himself lacking the necessary funds, prompting Fusa to propose that Kim should be alone with the girl to increase his chances of success. Upon realizing that Beck Chiron never attends physical education class, Kim hatches a plan. He arrives at an opportune moment when Beck Chiron and Kim are alone in class, and he presents her with the strawberry milk that she requested, only to find out that he was already prepared. Seizing the moment, Kim asks Beck Chiron if she has ever kissed anyone before, but their conversation is interrupted when bullies enter the room and begin recording the interaction. They proceed to taunt and tease Kim for his affections towards Beck Chiron. Kim demands that they delete the video, but is met with physical aggression. However, she ultimately intervenes and convinces the bullies to delete the footage before departing. Chiron tells Kim to go home early. Kim is crying in his room when suddenly the system notifies him that the quest is completed. His quest gets completed from an indirect kiss. Kim receives his reward. He reveals his card and is shocked to see that his gold card was a vision card, which helped him with his eye vision, and he doesn't need to use glasses anymore. His other card lists him and his sister having dinner, and she tells him not to talk to her at school. In the following scene, Kim can be seen being subjected to physical violence as a group of individuals beat him up, leaving him bruised and battered. Chusa tries to apologize to Kim for his involvement in the altercation, but Kim insists that he doesn't want Kusa to face any consequences for what happened. The overweight bully continues to harass Kim, and when his sister happens to come across the scene, the bully tries to act friendly and claims that they were just smoking together. The bully then leaves with Kim Suyun but not before he requests Suyun to introduce him to his sister. However, things take a turn for the worse when the bully begins speaking negatively about Suyun's sister, prompting Hyuza to step in and try to intervene. Unfortunately, Hyuza ends up getting beaten up by the bully, which is the last straw for Kim fueled by anger and frustration. Kim decides to fight back against the bully, 
and to everyone's surprise he turns out to be a skilled boxer, thanks to his silver card being a jab card. The system then creates a quest for Kim to defeat the bully, which he ultimately accomplishes, thereby increasing his jab proficiency. However, fearing the repercussions of his actions, Huzza advises Kim to run away, which Kim is apprehensive about since he is worried about facing further harassment from the bully and his group of friends. It is at this point that Beck Chiron shows up and advises Kim to leave early, given that he had gotten into a fight. Meanwhile, a group of guys arrive looking for Suyun, and despite Huzza's attempts to intervene, he ends up getting hurt. Ultimately, the boss of all bullies, Hu Hajuin, confronts Suyun and demands to know why he beat up the bully. Upon being asked by Kusa about the reason for his previous fight with Chang Dong, Kim replied that the latter was badmouthing his family, and that was why Ha Jiwen had instructed Su Yun to hit him. However, despite being confused about the whole situation, Su Yun remembered the reward he had received earlier and decided to make use of it. He jabbed at Ha Jiwen with his hand, but was taken aback when the latter dodged it with ease, followed by delivering a punch that knocked Su Yun out cold. Upon regaining consciousness, Kim found Ha Jiwen standing in front of him and feared that he would get beaten up again. However, to his surprise, Hajiwen invited him to go smoke with him, and apologized for his previous actions. Moreover, he praised Sohyun's fighting skills, which left Kim perplexed about Hajiwen's behavior towards him. Later, Kusa informed Kim that Hajiwen wanted to meet him after school, and Kim went to meet him, only to find Chiron present, there. Hajiwen asked him to sing, and upon activating one of his cards, high pitch, Kim started singing beautifully. This earned him the praise of everyone present, and he realized that the rumors he had heard about Hajiwen being a bad person were not true. Feeling relieved and happy, Suyun went to school thinking that his life had changed for the better. However, he noticed that there were no quests in his quest window for the time being. When he saw Hajiwen, he was glad to see him, but then received a notification about a new main quest. This time it was a platinum card and the main quest was to fight against Gu Hajiwen. Shocked by this sudden turn of events, Suyun wondered how he could fight Hajiwen, and Kusa asked him why Hajiwen was eating with them. Despite thinking of giving up on his quest since he was now friends with Hajiwen, Suyun got scared when he saw Hajiwen beating up one of his own men. Chiron informed Suyun that Hajiwen has always been using the money gathered by the group for his own benefit and the reason Suyun was being beaten up was due to his insufficient contributions. Hajiwen spotted Suyun and approached him, questioning his presence there. Suyun asked Hajiwen why he enjoyed hanging out with him, to which Hajiwen responded that he appreciated Suyun's boxing abilities and found the other members to be intolerable. Despite considering abandoning his quest, Suyun realized that he would lose his boxing skills and be treated the same as the other guys, so he resolved to train harder. He understood that defeating Hajiwen with just his jab would be impossible, but he remembered that he possessed a bean of recovery card and a high note skill. While being confronted by a group of guys demanding taxi fare, Suhyun was attacked, and he used his jab to defend himself. This resulted in his jab skill level improving from rank F to E. As he fought back against the attackers, Suyun realized that his jab had become more powerful than before, giving him hope that he could have a chance at defeating Hajiwen. Now the guys are getting serious, and the system is creating a sub-quest for Suyun with one silver card as his reward. They start to charge towards Suyun together, and Suyun is ready to give them a fight. The sub-quest starts, and the guys charge towards Suyun. He jabs them and knocks one of them out. The system shows that one of his opponents is down, and there are only four left. They start to get serious about this. Now they are four of them, and Su Yun has no choice but to run. He brings them to an alley. They think that Su Yun is all tired now, but Su Yun used his bean of recovery to regain his stamina. Since it's an alley, they have to fight one on one, which benefits Su Yun. Su Yun continues to rely on his jab as he is not familiar with any other moves and the other guys are taken aback by his seemingly endless strength. He feels confident that he can take on Hajiwen after successfully taking down two of his opponents. With determination, Suyun defeats all of his opponents and completes the main quest, along with a hidden condition to win without getting hit, 
earning him a golden card. However, the pressure is mounting as he only has 8 hours left to complete the main quest, and he only has 4 cards to go up against Hajuan. Failure to win against Hajuan would mean reverting to his past life. Fuza is concerned about Suhyun's safety, especially with Hajuan in the picture. Suhyun expresses his gratitude to Kusa for supporting him throughout the ordeal. Hajuan approaches Suhyun and invites him to get a snack. Thank you for taking the time to watch this content. If you found it enjoyable, please show your support by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing for future updates. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you never miss a new release. Rest assured, there's plenty more exciting content on the way.